The following day was typically our cast one. Today's class is said that he had started. And eventfully. Mentor break was just around the corner. And with it, final exams. Although Masaki Haik prided itself on discipline, it was still a private school and as such promoted a culture of independence among its students. And that the students had a place to explore that side of themselves under the guardianship of the student council president. More easygoing students could spend their time after school as he wished, as long as they were mindful of personal responsibility. The fact that the poster boy of independence was the student council vice president indicated just how vast the spectrum was. Aozaki, Iruga. The Maratsugishi drew open the door to the satellite student council room, the numerous location for their secret meetings. Despite all appearances, he was the student council vice president, also happened to be the poor soul responsible for executing the student council's dirty work. Boohoo. One person was waiting for him in the cramped room. <laughs> the student council room president, Elko Saki, said in Paris. Imperiously in a folding chair, glaring at Tobimaru and his boisterous entrance. <laughs> so as not to succumb to Ako's oppressive silence, Tobimaru opened with some casual small talk. Otskaresama, <laughs> ジム的に話すのって寒いじゃねえか。少しぐらい世間話でもしねえと、つまらねえだろ。わあ、こういう時は無駄口は叩かない方がいいわよ。調べ終わったの Naka so. picked it up and began to scan through the documents that were inside. She entered her own little world, not sparing the slightest bit of attention for Tobimaru. If ignoring other people were a skill, she would be a master at it. Nah. Nani? Pay attention to me! Hitotsu kikitain dake do yo. Dakara. Nani? The room was filled with a chilling silence. Aoka continued reading without an ounce of emotion upon her face. Though Tabimara kept up an air of indifference, his stare remained fixed intently in her. Aozaki, so you know, tsukutte tanoshi? Tanoshi, wa ke nai desho? Konna no tsukutta tokoro de, aumari tsukau kikai nante nai in dakara. Soka, nara i. Whether or not he was convinced, Tabemaru stood up from his chair with a disappointed expression. Saigomadayomeba Wakaridarunga, Ammari Kakshua Torinokatase. Toyuri, Ototoyano Torinita Sutoa Inaite Hanasini Narisoda. Ma Dante Vadekinai Ketona. No longer concerned over his tasks,
As if to say it was out of his hands. To, so da. So yeba, hitori dake gaito shina katta yatsu ga iru. Kisetsu hazre no tenyu se made wa, aozaki mo shirabe kire na katta mite じゃ ne ka. How could I raise your head ever so slightly? He was right. The recent transfer student was not included within the scope of our investigation. So na wa kede. その字に関しては調べてないぜまあいつならいつだろうと遅くまでバイトだろうがいや人殺しを見たなんてこと口走ってるようじゃ家で悪い夢でも見てたのかもしれねえかはそれは、ヤカフェルトのフィンガーが止まる。そのドキュメントは、そのドキュメントは、そのドキュメントは、そのドキュメントは、そのドキュメントは、そのドキュメントは、そのドキュメントは、そのドキュメントは、そのドキュメントは、そのドキュメントは、そのドキュメントは、そのドキュメントは、そのドキュメントは、そのドキュメントは、そのドキュメントは、そのドキュメントは、そのドキュメントは、そのドキュメントバカらしい。And yet she knew what she had to do. She would not have hesitated to kill Tobimaru if, if, if he had been the witness. But if it was him? Just considering that possibility caused her blood to run cold. Alka put her forehead in her hands and began to brood. And then, suddenly. Let us take choice. You will always be faced with choices. A virtuous fool and a wicked sage. You cannot save both. You must pick one. That is the freedom granted to you. Two years earlier, how can m u t t e r the words offered by her grandfather the day he, she replaced her elder sister as his successor and let out a sigh of lament? Sugoku. Bakamita. She laughed at her own intuition. But it was, it, it was no joke. If only those words had never been said. a l k a locked up the student council room and left for the day. With the Bamara being tied up. Calmly, as though nothing to, until what had happened. They made sure to cover his mouth so he couldn't scream. She greeted the students as they passed her in the halls. She was almost shocked by how natural she, 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 she seemed. There were still plenty of students at the school. But the grounds were noisy with the chattering of students who had finished today, but had yet to head home. Others still had club activities. The gray sky looked really poor, but nobody seemed to pay it any mind. I missed the clamor. Aka hastened to the school gate. She passed by some students in an animated conversation. They seemed to be talking about their after school plans. Apparently, they were adamant about maximizing their free time. She could not figure out、uh, how they could possibly be so irresponsibly focused and fun, but at the same time, was they in no mood to make fun of or feel envious of them? Two short years prior, she had. Been just like them. She、uh, retired her scarf and lifted her scarf this time more tightly to give off an air of solitude. But, but, she, but she was fooling no one. After all, what people who feign solitude are really masking in、uh, rejection? So, you know, Kodoku, do you know how you know you want to show she? The area by the school gate was busier than usual. A group of boys appeared to be huddled behind it. Their trans、uh, transparent attempt to be discreet in terms of phone location and loudness of voices attempting to hide the fact that they were noisily arguing about the girl standing alone on the other side of the street. Alice, yep.
The girl was cloaked in a black cape. At first glance, it could have been mistaken for normal attire. But those from Miss Saki could tell that she wore the uniform of a prestigious girl's school. Since school had no connection to Miss Saki Hug in any way, shape, or form. The two schools are miles apart, both physically and spiritually. A member of that school student's body was a rare sighting, as the majority were forced to live in the school dorm. Rayan Girls Academy had a reputation as a school for princesses, and it was rare indeed for fun to be summing with the common folk. That alone would have been enough to cause the reckless among the boys. But this girl looked the epitome of uh, glass. A uh, glass. Well, well, one could not help but describe this standing figure as charming. The way she sadly, motionlessly waited for the reminiscence of a meticulously composed portrait. Alka took one look at her before instantly recalling that one word solitude. <laughs> Disgusted, Alka marched through the gate. At this point, she would normally head home, but the day she crossed the street towards the waiting girl. てか怒られる怒られるのあの天使。よその生徒でも公文前にいるぐらいなら別に問題はないと思うけど。ハファラセスコエクステレクセル、ポイズレドラオ。青子女子は容赦ねえからな。下手すると平手だぜ。平手。The boys ran their mouths behind her, uh, her back. Not in the mood to shut them up, Alka walked right up to the girl and offered an informal wave. Greetings. What happened, Alice? You didn't say anything like this. You didn't say anything like this. You didn't say anything like this! Alka heard the boys by the gate lose their collective minds and did her best to ignore them. あのことを確かめに。青子。あの人たち邪魔なんだけど。わかってる。今を追っ払うから。会長こっち来んぞ。おい、押すなよ。後ろのやつどけって。俺後者に逃げるから。いや、でもあの子会長と知り合いなんでしょ。うまく会長に紹介してもらうとか。さすが一年坊主。まだ戦場の現実っても
<笑>それ先月会長が潰したじゃん取りめでてる暇があるなら彼女作れって<笑>ああ彼女作れですかすみませんっす今日は裏口から帰るっすザキさんくっそじゃあな会長また明日ナムトスオーソーチャーミングレマークスタボイスキャルビトルテイルズビトゥインデルレグス楽しそうねアオコあわかるアオコスパンスリプトアウトアオチョイズリーディレクターはなだっぺにバッドアップスクミサキハイアンディングブダムマスンプリダッドバッドでここまで出向くってことは何か分かったの結界に残っていた気配の識別はあとはここで確かめればいいだけよそうんアリスいつからここに下校時刻から悪いわね、無理させて別に好きでやってることだから私を待ってたわけじゃないんでしょ今からでも付き合うわアリス・ナディン・アセント If Alice was still here, it meant she had not found the witness yet. If she had found the students, Alice would have already gone home ahead of Alka and begun to research the students' background. She reported the results of the Bimar's investigation. Alice remained silent. With that, the conversation ended, leaving the two to silently endure the freezing wind. The silent stakeout dragged on endlessly. Students continued to pass the gate, and each shocked at the sight of the unusual combo and head home. After 20 minutes, I called the psychic skipper mouth, perhaps from boredom, perhaps from, from the cold, or perhaps from both. Ne, Alice. Kaeri, lay me in your tekanai. Naoka quickly turned to Alice to catch her reaction. Don, what's the name of one of Walker's favorite coffee shops? <sighs> Offering no clear indication as to whether she was critical of Walker's blessé attitude or agreeing with her, to her whims, Alice's gaze shifted over so slightly. Walker followed her stare. Ore, Aozaki mo machi aose ka? The sudden voice took her off guard. There was only one person who spoke with his gentle, good natured tone. So, yappa so n a r u a k a Turning her back to Alice, Salka moved her focus to the newly appeared student. So, there, Kyo wa na no yo. Now, politeness flew out the window. Already in a bad mood, Alka's mood plummeted to the, the, the longer she looked at Sojura. The subtlety of her expression, however, was lost in him. Yeah, これから駅前で水泳部の部長と待ち合わせなんだけど、そのことでお礼を言っておきたくて。Hmm? Well, that was completely unexpected. Thanks. Do you want to make a club? Alko had the hunch that he was about to say something brainless. Hmm? Who said I was gonna give you money? Fortunately, Sojourner was completely unaware of the more sinister implications to the word payback. I don't know, but it's not a big deal. But, I don't want to be so busy for the summer. Sojourner Was just about to take her for a comedic club that would not take up much of this time. And Alka cut him off with an expression of disinterest. 
幽霊部員になりそうな生徒なんて紹介できないから忙しいあなたでも務まりそうな場所があったから口に出しただけよなるほど無駄がないね、yeah. Finally got a suitable club and negotiating with its captain had been an efficient use of her time at all. とにかくお世話になったからそれで礼を言っときたくて。So you're grateful that this had, but not before the first of the o c a stopped him? よしてよ。今あなたにそんなことされても迷惑だから。それで、水泳部はどうやっていけそう An awkwardness infiltrated her previously sharp gaze. So she was able to pick up on the odd change in her behavior, but could not divine its reason. So he simply st started with what he knew so far and reported the most recent information he had. Ah, Suyebu a kubi ni natta. What? Yeah, why? Uh, Oko、oh, instinctively shouted at the unexpected response. Like a human jack in the box. This unexpected development threw her mind in a tizzy, and she momentarily forgot the complicated feeling she had been wrestling with. Tojura stated this very matter of factly that they're still reeling Gaoka. Hanashi got Snagarana. So come at Umaki Terunoni. Those the new book, Yoshi Sarenoi Antawa. So ya, Orega or Yoganai Karadara. Alka reached up with her fingers and pinched the British of her nose as she proceeded his answer. しずきくん、昨日の私の質問は覚えてる走るのか泳ぐのか、どっちがいいかってやつ。私の記憶は正しいけど、一応確認しておくわね。あなた、確かに泳ぐ方だって言ったけど<笑>ああ、昔から泳げないのはなんとか克服したかったんだ。反対に走る方は得意だけど。Her energy spent, Alka finally understood. Orega each name not a each car a kitai to create a rashin da keto. Ato Sanka gets the sun in a mibun nanoni. Kanazuchi no buin wa yatoena i soda. Kedo buchonga shin mi nata crete. Korekara oyogi o shete creer koto ni natanda yo. Sujurus words were spoken from a place of joy. I felt it failed to reach Aoka. Tsumari, Kekan Hino Ritzketa de Wakaka. Korea Sweeb no Bujoni Awaska or Ganaito. Chotomata Shizukun, Sweeb no Bujote. She set herself short of a girl. She was afraid of how that might look. That she might not be able to rein herself in if she started. Mo Iwa, Kimochi wa wakata kara, doko ka toku ni te krenai. Skoshi tskarete te, totemo janai kedo anata no aite wa shite irale nai no. Tobi maru mo sonna koto o itte ta na. Aozaki wa kino to kyo, mezrashi ku tskarete ru te. Nani ka atta no ka? Chotto ne. Demo ii no. Kaikete shita mitai da kara. それより、しずきくんはどう見える私、そんなに疲れて見えるのかな Why had she asked him this? But he got things for no reason and an impulse. This was not unusual for Aoka. Perhaps it was because she realized that this would be their last chance to have a normal conversation. After a few moments of contemplation, So、she conjured up a grin that cut straight through the tension. So, the na. Scarlet ail to you, Yori, Iki, Iki, Ste, Yoni, Mir. Shikatanak, Hatake, O, Tagaya, Ste, Ta, O, Kami, Ga. Hisashibri, Ni, Kari, Ni, Deru, Koto, Ni, Natte, Kien, O, Age, Te, Iru, Kanji, Da. 
He seemed so cheerful. Like he was so happy for her. <laughs> that wolf was gonna be on you, bro. Without thinking, Alka's hand went to her cheeks. If what he said were true, that she was grinding from ear to ear, there was just no way she would have made such a mistake. Perhaps still not comfortable enough to wave her to her, he said his goodbye with sincerity in his voice and smile, and took his leave. Wait, there's something like this. Tell me about it. Alka called out after him. Her voice was cool as she admonished herself for having been somewhat aff uh, affable earlier. Hmm? No meaning or no story. Yes. When you were in a bad mood, there were two animals in front of you. I would like to give you a gun to Shizuki. I would like to give you a gun to Shizuki. I would like to give you a gun to both of them. 右はライオンで、左は子猫。選ぶのはあなたの自由だから。Oh, easy. I'm just gonna shoot myself then. It was a fable-like moral dilemma, especially the way in which it was cruel and rather preachy. The kind that if you thought too hard about, you would never find an answer. So she answered quickly and calmly. Yeah. うたないと思うよ。だって自分の好きにしていいんだろ。それにほら、空腹ならお互い様だ。いや、それでリスフェイスバテレマ。いや、でも、イノセントレスポンス。そう、イノセントファクトでウッドギブエネワンパーズ。
When she had felt that sinking feeling as I stood in the council room, she ignored it. There was no getting around what must be done, she told herself. Until there is. So Jura went and said what he did, causing her to resolve to waver. But the discomfort in her chest did not stem from any guilt she may have felt. She could care less for Sojra. He was weak, and would be, and would be incredibly easy to deal with. Oh, I'll just wait for uh, one more chapter, and you'll see how it's easy. Yet, for some reason, she could not dispel her reservations. A dressing student who moved to the city from the middle of nowhere, with no family to speak of. Few would notice if he were to suddenly disappear compared to a person of some renown. If she were to kill him, it would be as simple as ringing a cat's neck. And it all served to just piss her off. It was too lucky. Like everything was neatly handed to her. She wanted to just dropkick it right into orbit. Standing behind her, Alice heard all of the muttering. Nevertheless, she seemed ignored. She seemed ignored. She seemed to ignore it and said, A wholly unrelated topic? But it, it's interesting. What's behind that scarf? Alka returned to her senses. Kubi? Uh, no, not scarf, well, uh, bandages, to be honest, but. Eh. Suyebu no kubi to kakete ita no kashira. Alice had put much thought into this, as if it had a deeper meaning to her somehow. So, Yeba, I too, Hajimete atta tokimo, kubi ni nuno maite takke. The conversation turned to idle nonsense. And though it solved none of their current problems, it did help calm Aoka's frazzled nerves. Thank you. I relaxed, Alice. And the fire was Bumped once more, Aoka turned her back to the school gate. For now, they would retire to the mansion and prepare for the battle. She said quietly so as not to be overheard by anyone else. Normally, Alko had to rein in that side of Alice, out in the open, as you were. But this was far from a normal situation. Yay, we're gonna finally go on a date! She gave a fearless laugh. A strangely pleasant sound, that the kind of one would make when meeting their lover. But yeah, we're gonna go on a date, finally! Out of the witches one. Oh boy. I'll see you in chapter 5 in the next episode. Stay tuned and uh, subscribe. It's free. Thank you. Oh, awesome.